Hello everyone, I'm super excited today to not only show you some really cool 3D models in PowerPoint, but ones that are pre-animated for you. This opens up a whole bunch of new creative possibilities and lets your imagination really take off. So let's dive in and see how to do this. In this three-part tutorial, I'll show you the basics of animated 3D models in PowerPoint, advanced tricks with animated 3D models, and then fun with 3D models even without PowerPoint. So you don't have to have the latest version or really any version to play around with them. So let's start with part one, the basics. Here's how to do it. So here we are in our typical PowerPoint slide, and you do have to have the latest 365 version. And at the moment, you also have to be on the Fast Insider build to make sure that you have this option. So once I'm here, I just go to Insert, and then 3D Models from Online Sources. And then this links right to the Remix 3D website right here. And then here you go to All Animated Models. I'll show you the T-Rex just a little bit later. For now, let's start off with the shark actually, which is one of my favorites because I think it looks so realistic. So we just go to Insert here. And it does take a little bit of time to get in here and there you go. So now we have this shark, it's already animated for us in the PowerPoint slide. And you can turn it around, kind of go like this and you can see it's just beautiful. It has a nice shiny texture here. And as we'll see in a little bit, the mouth actually has really nice detail as well when it's open. So from here, we have what, what are called scenes for this 3D model. And scenes are basically just pre-made animations that are integrated into the model. It creates a much more natural look than a lot of the animations that you can make in PowerPoint because this is truly professionally done. So if we look at scene one, which is what it is right now, it's basically this kind of just casual swimming effect and it kind of happens wherever, however you position the shark. And there are two more scenes here that you can use. So we have scene two, which is kind of the shark um, swimming around, sort of circling here. And then the one that's actually my favorite is scene three, which is the shark biting. Let's turn that around so we can see that in action. And let's make that bigger so we can see that mouth moving. And let's go to slideshow so we can get rid of this thing in the front. So there you go. You're basically ready to take this really nice shark and put it into your own slide. And let's just take out the biting for a second. And then I'll show you how to add a very, very basic motion path to this. And remember, we haven't even started with actual PowerPoint animations yet since we've been working with these 3D scenes. And then I'll show you how to make this swim across the screen. So you just go up to animations like you normally would in PowerPoint. And then just like with any other animation, we go to add animation here so that we don't remove that scene one. And then we go down to motion path and then we choose a line and then make that go to the right. Let's pull that all the way across here. And then let's set this to start with previous. So you want the, the swimming motion to happen just as it's kind of moving to the right as well. And then finally, let's set the motion path duration to 10 seconds. And then let's set this scene, which is about two seconds, to repeat five times so that it 
so that it is the same length as the motion path. So we go here, we go to timing, and then we go to repeat, and we repeat five times. Technically, you're repeating four times, but you know <laughs> that's how the setting goes. Now this should be pretty much the same as this motion path in duration. Let's go to preview, and there you go. Looks kind of cool. And you can follow this similar process here when you have the shark going across the slide under the ocean. And in this case, I have a looping video background back here to make it more realistic. So let's just see what that looks like. And by the way, if you want a free download of the shark with the animated video background, check out the link in the video description. And there you go. That is a basic overview of how to work with animated 3D models. For a deeper tutorial with advanced tips and tricks, including how I made the dinosaur move in this way, check out part two of this tutorial series. Thanks for watching and see you there.